Hi mathematicians, today we are going to uh, give a presentation or learn about uh, how to multiply mixed numbers using an area model. This is a very visual model um, so that you can see exactly where we're getting our math from and why the mathematics works the way it does so that uh, we can multiply in a way that makes sense um, throughout all of math. So let's think about what we're being asked to do. We're being asked to find the product of 3 and 2 fifths and 4 and 1 third using the area model. The area model is just a very visual method um, for representing a problem um, so that we can actually see how many square units there are. To find the area of something is simply to find the number of square units. So you're, there's going to be some sort of multiplication involved here. All right, so looking at 3 and 2 fifths, 3 and 2 fifths means 3 wholes and 2 fifths of another whole. So if, if, if I go for 3 and 2 fifths, I'm going to go for 3 wholes, 1 whole, 2 wholes, 3 wholes, and then I'm going to go for 2 more fifths. So I have to break this up into 5 equal parts. And then I want only two of those fifths. So two fifths would be right there. Okay? Um, and I can represent that with the numbers three. And this number right here is two fifths. It stops right there. Okay, and then I'm going to draw lines to extend them down uh, all the way down the model as these whole lines have been all drawn all the way down the model. Alright. So it goes all the way down. And let me clone these lines now. All right. Take this line and put it right there. This line and put it there. And one more. There we go. We've broken this up into five equal parts. And I'm not interested in any of these pieces. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down for four and one third. Four holes and one third of another hole. So one hole, two holes, three holes four holes, and one-third of another hole. So I'm going to break this hole into three equal parts. And I only want one of those thirds. Okay? So therefore, we are focused now on Drawing a line to right there, and then cloning that line. Thank you for bearing with me while we get our drawings and our lines just made just so. Let's bring that up for precision. So we're just making sure that this is lined up. Right there should be fine. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, in fact, let me just color these lines differently so you see that this is the blue from before. There we go. All right. So what I'm what I'm focused on is is this area right here. This area right here. The 
going to be focused on f all of this right here. All of that right there. All right. All of this. Let me make this a little bit bigger so. There we go. All of this area right here. I like how it's slowly coloring things in. All right, so we're focused on, on this area right here. It doesn't need to be fully colored in for you to know we're focused on all of this right here. Okay, so now we're actually gonna do our multiplication. This is, so this is four and one third. Okay, here we go. So what I'm essentially doing here is I'm multiplying four times three. And if you see the four times three, I am focused on this area right here. Four times three is gonna give me 12, okay? Four times three will give me 12, so write a 12 right here. And then I will put that together with four times two fifths. Well, each of, I want four, four times two fifths. Four times two fifths will be eight fifths. 4 times 2 is 8, and they're 8 fifths. Um, I know 5 fifths is going to make a whole, so this is a fifth right here. That's another fifth. That's another fifth, and another fifth, and another fifth, and another fifth. And I keep on going. This is another fifth, and another fifth right there. And I have 8 fifths. 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, 5 fifths, 6 fifths, 7 fifths, 8 fifths. But I know 5 fifths make one whole. So one, two, three, four, five fifths is one whole. So I have one whole plus one fifth. One whole plus one fifth is one and one fifth, one and two fifths, one and three fifths. So I have one and three fifths. And then I put that together with, now I multiplied the four times the three and the four times the two fifths as well. So now I'm going to multiply the one-third times three. Well, one-third times three is going to go from here to here, right there, from here to here. Each of these is a third. So I have one-third plus another third plus another third. One-third times three is three-thirds, and three-thirds, as we know, makes one whole. So I have plus one whole here. And then finally, I'm going to multiply one-third times two fifteenths. Now just to show you, sorry, two fifths. Now just to show you what I'm what I'm getting at here, I'm going to slightly color just this. Unit right here. Now this is one full full um, square unit. What I'm being asked is, what is one-third times two-fifths? Well, one-third times two-fifths is two of these. And what are these called? These are two. And how many pieces does it take to make one whole here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So this is two fifteenths. And you can visually see here why Two fifteenths is the product of one third times two fifths. One times two is two, and that's where I'm getting this two from. And then three times five is fifteen, the total number of pieces. So two fifteenths. So I'm going to add that together with two fifteenths. That's two fifteenths. Oops. 
that's two fifteenths. Okay, so looking at this, I now know that the product is going to be twelve plus one and three fifths plus one plus two fifteenths. However, these do not fractions do not have the same denominator, but I can do something to this fraction here to get a denominator of fifteenths. I can multiply by the five by three, and because I'm making an equivalent fraction, I can also multiply the three by three as well. So I have twelve. So this is equal to twelve plus one and nine fifteenths plus one plus two fifteenths. Now they have the same denominator. Now I can add up the the fractional units now. So I have twelve plus one plus one is fourteen. And now I'm going to add up the fractional parts because the meaning of a mixed number is the sum of a whole number and a fraction. Now I'm going to add up the 9 fifteenths with the 2 fifteenths and I get 11 fifteenths. And so the product of this is 14 and 11 fifteenths. Now I appreciate your patience in going through with the slow loading of the, um, the model. But I hope that through, through seeing this, you actually can get a sense for what we're actually doing. Um, visually speaking, we're multiplying the 4 times the 3 and the 4 times the 2 fifths, and then I have 3 times the, th the 1 third, and I also have um, a third of the 2 fifteenths, uh, sorry, the 2 fifths. Um, and visually seeing this, you actually see why we get in a, a product of 14 and 11 fifteenths, because of the partial products that we actually uh, arrived at through our multiplying of the, uh, the numbers here. So this is a very visual way to see what's actually happening, and this is actually called the distributive property of multiplication. But it's a very visual way to see what we're doing. Basically what the distributive property says is we multiply each of these terms by each of the terms in the other number as well. Each of these terms by each of the numbers in the other number as well. Basically what a term is a term is a number that is being uh, that is separated through addition or subtraction symbol. So how many terms do I have here? I have one, two, three, four terms because each of them are separated by an addition or subtraction um, symbol. And because I know that three and two fifths is three plus two fifths, there are one one term here and two terms there. And because I know 4 and 1 third is 4 plus 1 third, there's one term here, and the other term is right here. So I hope that this uh, area model really helped you to figure out how to multiply mixed numbers um, using a very visual model.